everybody. Oh, hello there. Welcome, uh, our scientists, our science artists, I guess, to our very first ever STEAM on Saturdays. I'm Sam. I'm Jennifer. And what are we talking about today? We are talking all about snow. Ooh. Snowflakes, snow blizzards. Snow I am art. a big fan of the snow in general. Are you, you, I, you're mixed, yeah. right? No, I, I I like snow, I don't like to drive in it, but I love the rest of the snow. Yeah. I'm Looking inside, watching the snow fall is a perfect way to spend the afternoon. Crossing my fingers for some snow, um, which is probably why we're doing some of these experiments today, because we both kind of want some snow up in here. Um, so, our first experiment today is actually, it's a salt snowflake. Um, Jennifer, what are we needing? We need... So we need salt. We are going to use Epsom salt for this. To do. Um, in your bag, we're going to use a pipe cleaner. <laughs> Things happen. It's Things fine. happen. It's Things great. happen. I'm going to put my little... We're going to use a pipe cleaner. So you're going to have a pipe cleaner. You're going to um, need to boil some water. With an adult? With an adult. Prep um, you yes. are going to need a jar, mm -hmm. a clear jar. Probably um, about like a spaghetti size jar. Yeah, spaghetti size, mason jar, something like that. That you don't mind having around the house for about a week. Yep. Or um, so. And Wait. then we need some string and a pencil, right? Yes. String, we need a bag, pencil. We yes, I use one from home, please. And, and uh, yeah, so we're going to start with boiling the water. Great. We are. We have a little kitchen over that way. We're going to boil water. We are adults, so we're going to do it by ourselves, but make sure you <laughs> have an adult. With you as you boil water. Um, it is my hot we don't Are, are we adults? <laughs> Ish. Adult. Ish. We can boil water ourselves, but you yes. cannot. So please, please uh, have an adult with you, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Right? Oh yeah, you're gonna use the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back Woo! with boiling hot, hot, hot water. Don't touch that. All right. So we are going to start adding in our salt. The key to this is, and it may seem like you're adding a lot of salt, but we want to make this water kind of cloudy so that it's like overly saturated with salt, um, which means there's probably more salt content to water content. I don't know, probably not. But um, we want this to get super cloudy so that our crystals can grow in the best possible environment. And Jen's just going to keep adding that in there. And we want to, I think, go ahead and do one more. One more. It's tricky without a firm recipe. You just kind of have to use your best judgment. The bad news about this one is you won't know if it's right for a little while. Mm -hmm. Alright, and so now we're going to let this guy cool off right here. And when it's cool enough, we're going to add it to our jar. And so now we're going to make our snowflakes out of pipe cleaners. Yay! Yes. Woo! Sounds good. Yep. Okay, we think we've cooled it just enough. We've got another tray because sometimes we're a little messy. I might spill. So, so that. we're going to dip a container into the hot water that um, has cooled. A funnel would also help. A in funnel this would be nice. Oh, we do have funnels. And I'm just going to fill this guy up here. And this is going to be the jar that we hang our pipe cleaner snowflake in. And so, so you probably have less water than we do. We just kind of fill the big pot. Yes. A mason jar would work great for this experiment at home. We just wanted one. Jar. Yep. We wanted one that everybody could see if they came into the library easily without having to squint, you know. So we have a little bit of a mason jar. All right. Oh. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Again, you don't want your snowflake to touch the bottom. So he's, it's resting, I'm calling this up like a heat, just a, you know, like maybe like half an inch from the bottom of our jar. Um, and now we wait, right? For two to three days. So this part is a little hard, um, but it's why we're doing this, at, this one at home. Um, so after two to three days, you can remove it from your salt solution if you like it, and then let it dry. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're doing this at home and you, you, want to make more of these, the salt is different with our Epsom salts than it is with table salt. So it might be a little bit different looking wise. But, but it also might be cool to cool. see the difference between it the is. two, right? That is true. Um, but yeah, so did we want to hear a little bit about why sure. this is going to happen? Go for it. Okay. 
way <laughs> you're going to let me do it. Jenner's throwing me under the bus. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> the way we do things. So this is like the science behind it. So when we add the salt to the water, the salt dissolves, right? You can dissolve more salt in hot water, actually, than you can in room temperature water. Um, or even, I think, cold water, because I'll make like salt solutions for my mouth. I don't have to put that much in before it gets really cloudy and it still stays at the bottom. Um, <laughs> so that's because heated water molecules will move farther apart to make room for the salt crystals to dissolve. So when no more salt can be dissolved, we have reached saturation. So that's why we were adding so, so much salt. It's like the hot water is making it dissolve faster. We needed a lot of salt for this and we wanted to hit that point where no more could dissolve into the water. So we still see crystals at the bottom. As the salt solution cools and evaporates, oh, it right. uh, the water molecules move closer again. And so that we can see some of the salt crystals are starting to gather again at the bottom of the container due to gravity. So as it's cooling, like we said earlier, when it's colder or room temperature water, it dissolves way slower. Um, others will start to attach to the pipe cleaners. And so they're gonna, we'll see salt start grabbing on to the like flakes of our snowflake. Um, and build up on top of each other, which is really cool. Which is why it takes us two to three days to actually see all of that growth, because it does take longer. And we're gonna probably, we're gonna let this puppy sit for like a week or so. Yeah, right? we're gonna see how it goes, because um, we can, and it's fun. Yeah, we have the space. And so when you come into the library, we encourage you to stop by the children's desk and ask to see our snowflake, um, and just see how it does from day to day. And we'll put like maybe a little sign out. Yeah. Day one, day two, day three. That'll be cute. That will be cute. Um, all right, so we're going to get cleaned up and we're going to move on to our next experiment. Yes. Um, Woohoo, we'll be back in just a second. Hi, friends. We are interrupting this program because we have some tips and tricks for your snowflake. Um, so let's hear it. We'll show this is our first attempt. We did three attempts. Um, we and so, put it closer so we can, okay, can see. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to spill anything. Here we go. As you can see, no crystals. It did not work. So that was the first attempt. Our second attempt is this one. And if you can see the bottom, the all salt of the salt there. is there. And our third attempt, which was a little bit different today. I would turn it. Turn it. Woo. Oh no. Sorry. You can see. So it's only been a couple hours, but... It's it a is definitely tell, working. Yes. So, here's what we did. For those, the first two, we used the Epsom salts. This third one, we did use table salt just to see if it was a little bit different. The other thing we did was we stirred the salt. So, you see how this one here, it has all the salt at the bottom. We think that if we had stirred it and mixed it all in, let it dissolve... Yeah and made the That's water the cloudier, that yes. would have been the key. So you do want it to dissolve a bit, so you want to stir it. And then the other thing I did was I let it cool a lot more before I put the snowflake in. So I'm talking like very lukewarm water as opposed to the first two where we kind of dumped in the water and warm. it was, it was still, still very still hot. Like tea drinkable, hot chocolate drinkable yep. warm. So you do want to let it cool. Um, we will leave these, leave these at the desk and you can come and see. And, you know, science is about failure and not failure. So, we yeah, failed twice and works, we right? did a great job once. Who knows? So, maybe these ones will just take longer, right? I did <laughs> dump some of the, this, the third water into the big guy, so maybe that'll do a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. It's all about experimenting. It's true. All right. And that's what I have for you. So... On to our next experiment. Woo! Okay, welcome back for experiment number two. two. Um, we are going to be doing a snowstorm in a jar. Um, our jar, for all intents and purposes, is this nice vase. Um, your jar could likely be a mason jar or a pasta jar as well. Yeah, um, so, so they're jar. asking for like a 16 ounce jar. Yep. So if we you are... use something, sorry, if you mm -hmm. use something a little bit less, you just want to make the ingredients a little bit less. And so we're, for, we're making a larger one so that you can see it better. Um, okay, so the things that we need for this, we need a jar, we need our white paint, we need baby oil, uh, we need glitter, which we've got for you, we've got the Alka Seltzer tablets, um, which is very exciting. So, our first step. And we need water. Oh, and water. Did I not say water? Wow. Oh, I didn't, I wrote water, I didn't say water. Hmm. Um, following instructions, Samantha. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, 
So you're gonna fill your jar two thirds full with baby oil, which we're gonna give you. Can I open it? Oh, there you go. Oh, with the yep. Fine. Doing it. So our again, ours is gonna be a little bit bigger. I'm probably gonna put this whole thing. <laughs> it's gonna be close. <laughs> do 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 do. I'm not gonna like do this. I'm gonna do it to like here. We well, yeah, got two thirds. Yeah. Okay. Fractions. Math stuff. This is really fun. I should have taken the uh, spout off, but that's fine. Um, Jennifer, can we vamp a little bit? Can we talk about some science stuff? What do we think is going to happen when we add the alpha seltzer? Well, I know what's going to happen. I'm <laughs> sure anybody who has made lava lamps before knows what's going to happen. So this is a, a very similar experiment to the lava lamps. Lava lamps you use oil and food coloring, but the Alka-Seltzer is your main ingredient and it is going to form bubbles and the carbon dioxide is going to push it up and so it's going to bubble up, which is going to be really, really cool. Yeah, I'm very doing um, And we all know that oil and water do not mix well, so that is the best part. So you, we're doing, uh, we're going to put the paint into the water and we're going to mix the water up and then we're going to put that solution into the oil so it'll be different. So you'll see the white parts, which is the snow, mm -hmm. and you'll see it kind of bubble up and be snowy. Okay, awesome. All right, so our next step, we're looking at our, there we go. Um, so our next step is to add the white paint into water, I guess? Yes. All right. So you're only going to do about a quarter cup of water. Um, so we do not have a water measurement. We're just going to use this one. Um, we're going to do a little bit less because we have to stir. So it's really one squirt of paint. You're going to stir it until it's combined because you want it to be... Oh, very white coat. Nope, nope, nope. That's, That's fine. You're yep. good. You okay? All right. You're the boss. No, what we didn't do is... No, don't use that. Okay, fine. We're right. going to go grab a spoon. Okay, right, so you do want a spoon for that. We're just going to stir that up. You want to make sure that the white part gets kind of dissolved because that's what's going to make it snow. Yeah, which I can still see chunks, so we're just going to keep spinning. Looks kind of like milk, but don't drink it. Um, I think I'm really... I have a future in comedy, right? Like, I thought that was pretty funny. Jennifer is not laughing at me. This is great. Okay, right. great. All right, so we have our glitter ready. We have our water ready. So we are going to add our paint and water mixture to the glass. So the one thing you want... Go ahead. I'm the, one, the one thing you want to do... Oh, yeah. See? Oh, that looks... Okay, so we, well, I'm going to bring this closer real quick. I know. It's like little bubbles. So it's the oil and water that we just talked about. They do not mix. So I've got... It's not just paint. Can we see it? There's like little balls. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like kind of like little snowballs. Yep. All right. So again, if you're at home, we did the jar a little bit. You do not want to fill the jar all the way up because once you add the alka seltzer, it's going to bubble. And if you add have too much, it'll boil over. So make sure there's enough room with that. We're going to add a little bit of glitter, yeah. not too much because, you know, but it'll just make it a little pretty, you know. And we're going to go right over there and we're going to do this in front of the camera, right? We are. So the glitter you want, you don't want to use um, like a pretty blue or pink or anything like that because you want to be able to see it. Um, we and you want to be able to see the snow. So it's iridescent glitter. All right. So we are going to break the alka seltzer up into a few pieces. Mm -hmm. the, your snowstorm is going to last for about 45 seconds. You can keep... Um, adding different alka seltzer pieces into it. Um, All right. And it will work. All right, are we ready? I'm going to stand back and I'm going to put these in there. We're going to see how it goes. I know, right? There's one piece that was a pretty big piece. Oh, you see it? It's snowing. Yeah, that looks that really looks cool. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> and so we see these are the little paint pieces coming up and down. Because um, the oil and water do not mix. 
And it's shooting them up, and they're falling nice and easy back down. I'm just going to put just the rest of them in there. Dump it on. Yet. Dump it in. All right. What do we got? Oh, it's a blizzard! Which I'm really hoping that we're getting soon. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Oh, this is cool. Totally needed the goggles, Jennifer. <laughs> Can't be too careful. <laughs> awesome. Your eyes, you always want to protect your eyes. Plus, they're just fun to wear sometimes. So this actually looks like a straight-up blizzard. It does. And the glitter is really pretty in it. You can't see through it. It's totally what it's like. Uh, there's like crazy. a snow tunnel. Yeah, I know. A snow tornado. <laughs> a snow oh, tornado. No. Thunder snow! Just kidding. It looks like it's dying down a little bit. <laughs> That's sad. So, super fun. All right. So, we're going to clean this up, and we will be right back with the last craft slash science -y thing of the day. Yes. Woo, we're back. All right, we're back with our crafty sciencey thing of the day. So this is a craft that you can do that you can keep after this, um, whereas the other experiments kind of get rid of a little bit after a bit. Um, so this is going to be snowflake art, um, and so it's going to be uh, we need watercolor paper, which you have gotten in your bag. We need paint brushes, which you have gotten in your bag. A white crayon. I know white weird. Um, who uses a white crayon, right? Um, watercolors and salt. So we have a few options. I'm going to be using regular watercolors that are actually real watercolors, whereas Jennifer is going to make up her own watercolors right. and show you how to make if you don't have any watercolors at all. It's super easy to make. So you just want containers with water and you want food coloring. Uh, so we're going to make purple and blue. Oh, I guess we didn't really need to. <laughs> Alright, so you can really just drop one. And I got rid of my spoon, which was silly. Oh. It's fine. Good. So there you have it. There's your blue. Woo! We're gonna do one drop of red. Uh, oh, this red even get out. This red is. No. Nope. This red is toast. Okay. Good thing we have another. One drop of red, one drop of blue, which makes. Purple! That's supposed to answer the question? Sure. Okay, ooh, that's super dark. Yeah. So you can lighten or darken depending on how much of the food coloring you put in. Alright, well this is good. I needed a thing of water. So there you go. This is perfect. Done. Okay. Um, that's not... So, the first step after that is you're going to take your white crayon. You are going to make snowflakes on your paper. You can really make anything on your paper. It doesn't matter. It's kind of like an invisible ink. Which is fun. one. It's really hard to see, so I'm going to look at it and I'm going to, I can see it if I tilt my watercolor um, paper. I can just barely see where I drew on my paper with the white crayon, um, which is kind of cool. Like Jennifer said, it's kind of like invisible ink, right? It is. Um, yeah, so that's the opposite of say. Tilt it. You can see it. Yep. All right. So now so we're going to just, just go ahead and paint. paint. I'm not gonna make a mess. I am messy. I need a lot of water though. Yeah, so this is great. It's not picking up a lot of the paint part, which is okay. I think maybe I used too much water, not enough of the coloring. But you can still see it, so. Do you wanna add some? I'm gonna go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I like to blend my colors. This is the fun part, the creative part, right? Mm -hmm. I like to paint. Jennifer really likes to paint. And actually, what are we doing again this summer, Jennifer? We do, if you like watercolors, we do have a watercolor class that we'll be teaching. All right, your paper is going to bend. It's the water. It's fine. And when it dries, you can kind of flatten it out. No worries there. I'm just going to keep going here. While <laughs> you're... Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to pat that. Ooh. 
While your paint is still wet, you're going to take a little pinch of salt and sprinkle it over top. Not too much salt, just a little bit. Too much will, will get a little tricky, um, which is good for the salt for you. All right, give me some salt, Jennifer. You might need to make yours have a little bit more water on it to make the salt I'm stick. I'm trying to paint as fast as I can. You're fine. You're a professional, so, so you paint faster than me. No, I just use more water. <laughs> Mine was <laughs> more water-based, so it's trickier. So you do need to have um, kind of a more wet paper for the salt to stick. All right, so there, I've got wet paper. Here. When it is dry, when your painting is dry, you can brush away the grain of salt. It's going to make a Ooh. kind of a frosty effect. So I'm going to actually show this here. So you can see my white snowflakes from my white crayon drawing have appeared through, which is really cool. And I'm just waiting now for my salt to dry. Yeah. Ooh. So there you have it. There is our first steam kit. We will be back next week within next, next month. month. Next month with a new theme and new experience. Steam you later.